I am now getting ready to install a uh, custom firmware on an official firmware 3.55 uh, Sony PlayStation 3. Uh, this is a bit nerve-wracking because this is my first time modding a PlayStation 3. Now, um, the guides usually show me something conflicting. On the one hand, they say you want to install multi-man first to prevent bricking. But you have to have a custom firmware to install multi-man, so you've got the whole chicken and the egg conundrum. So, I'm just going to jump in feet first and hope I don't brick my PlayStation 3. Now, here's what I have done. I put onto a Sony USB thumb drive, 16 gigabytes, 15 gigabytes usable. Um, and I'm following this guide, which I will link to. Let's see. I've downloaded uh, Rogero CEX 4.30 version 2.05.pup, renamed it to PS3 U. PDAT.pup and put it into the folder structure PS3 slash update on the thumb drive. I inserted it into the PS3 and just to be safe, I turned off my router. I don't want any risks. Also, I made sure to take the disk out of the drive. If you do not do that, the update will happen from the disk instead and well, you'll be stuck with a official firmware you may not want. So, without further ado, let's see what happens. Turning on my controller. Clicking to system update. Go down to update via storage media. It sees version 4.30, ROG V2.05, location USB device. I click OK. It tells you a user agreement. If this is hard to read, it simply says, Rogero's CFW license agreement, January 5th, 2013. This CFW can be used to update the PS3 from any official firmware 3.55, or custom firmware 3.55, 4.21, or 4.30. It has, well, it says it have level one checks, but anyway, it has level one checks disabled and can be installed on downgraded consoles without the risk of bricking. No warranty either expressed or implied. This CFW has, was the result of the combined efforts and perseverance of many talented coders and friends, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, Keep scrolling down. Restrictions, legal exceptions, you know, the usual services and updates. You know, the basic legal mumbo jumbo be on there. But the first paragraph was the important one. So I am going to now. And my cat is running amok. Let's see. Okay. Hear any galloping? That's a cat. Let's see. Pressing X. Do you accept the user agreement? Accept. Let's see. Do not turn off the system during the update. If you do, you may not be able to restart the PS3 system. Once the update is started, you cannot go back to the previous version of the system software. Actually, that's not true. That's an official notice, but there's a special um, homebrew software you could use to revert to official 3.55 if you ever want to. Of course, doing so, you know, undoes everything you just did here. Turn off system automatically after update. I don't need to do that. Start. Copying update data to the hard disk. It's going pretty quickly, actually. Now let's see what happens. Giving it a few moments. It's doing something. Checking for update data. Please wait. This is a good sign. Press the PS. It's a controller.
Installing. Do not turn off the system. After the install operation is completed, the system will automatically restart. Three percent, four percent. It's going relatively quickly. And I'm just going to hold this until it completes. If you want to fast forward the video until it says 100%, that's fine. Twenty five per cent. Thirty per cent. Forty five percent. And I'm just holding this to the update, you know, just so everyone can see it actually going through and if it broke up the video, someone would wonder if I was doing it correctly or let's see. Fifty five per cent. Seventy per cent. So far, so good. Hey, it's doing something. It was around 75%-ish. Hey, there's a good sign.
Okay, let's see here. I appear to be on the custom firmware. So, turning back on the controller. I have Multiman as a package file on the USB stick. So now that I actually have access to install package file, I'm going to do that now. And there it is. Multiman version 4.20 full CEX dot package. Installing. Installing. Do not turn off the system. And this is a bigger package file than the uh, other one. But let's see how long this one takes. 3%. 4%. Much faster. So this is apparently proof that Rogero is a uh, completely safe custom firmware to install on a official firmware 3.55. It works very simply with the um, update system and everything appears to work. And you don't have to have multi-man installed first in order to do it safely. Um, of course uh, if you have it already installed in some way before, you know, I imagine if the power went out, a uh, really bad moment, it might have been nice to be able to restore, but aside from that, I don't really see any problems that could have occurred. Okay, so I feel uh, much better about this. I'm going to complete the installation of Multiman before I turn off the video and show it working. My uh, camera is running out of battery, so I'm going to plug this in. And as before, if you want to just fast forward past until it says 100%, that's totally fine. All I'm doing is holding this in place to show that I'm doing this correctly. It's going faster now, 92, 93, 94, 95, it's almost done. Okay. Install completed. So let's see what we've got. 
back. There's Multi-Man now. So let's take a look at it. I'm opening Multi-Man now for the first time. Multi-Man referred hereafter as software. Its authors, partners, and associates, etc., etc. Do you accept this binding agreement? Yes. This software shall be for educational and testing purposes only, and what mail I uses to create test copies of legitimately acquired and our own content is required that such users shall actions shall comply with local, federal, etc. Okay. And yes, I actually own the games that I intend to back up. So, no problem. You are solely responsible for complying, etc. Yes, I agree. Applying standard theme, please wait. Okay, new music. So, start game from disk or favorites. Browse the internal hard drive. Download themes. The music's nice, but it's kind of distracting. So anyway, that is the installation of uh, custom firmware and multi-man onto a first generation PlayStation 3 console, uh, which came with Official Firmware 3.55. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.